Welcome to this quick, easy and efficient tutorial to do this fully automatically inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. You can use it for your short form videos, for interviews, voiceovers or other social media content. So let's go. And keep watching because at the end I will show you how to do these amazing animated captions too. These days subtitles are more and more common in the world of social media. So I'm super happy that Adobe is also joining the game and is super accurate in generating those subtitles. So let me show you. So to do this you need a couple of extra windows. So we go to window, then we go to text window and we add that. I will put that next to here. And you also need the essential graphics window. I have it over here, but otherwise you have to select it here. So then we go to the timeline and we hit a in point and the out point for the part we want to do subtitles on. If you want to do subtitles on the whole video, you don't have to set those in and out points. Then we go to that text window we just added and we go to transcript over here. Then we can hit transcribe sequence. If you don't see it, there is also a three dotted button over here. So we hit transcribe sequence. And here are a couple of settings you should take a look at. For example, the language. Then over here, you can select a one layer the audio is on, the audio you have to transcribe. So I can hit audio too and then it will not look at the other audio layers. For now we will keep it like this and we hit transcribe. Then it's busy rendering it all and it's already done. So this was of course just like a small piece of video. If you have like a whole 10 minute video you want to transcribe it takes of course longer. So it already automatically transcribed our text. What we can do now is we can make subtitles out of it. For that, we hit the CC button, the Create Captions button. We do that and then there are a couple of settings you have to take a look at. Because these settings will decide how your captions will look, not visually, but how long they are and the pacing of it. So the style for now is not important. Uh, I will show you later how you can save a style uh, when you made a style once. But you should take a look at, for example, the lines. Do you want a single line of subtitle or a double and also the maximum length in characters do you want the pacing like really quick like almost uh, every single word uh, then you can set it like super low for example uh, 10 characters or 15 characters i will hit for the maximum length i will hit like uh, 15 because it's a huge video that i want to be like really fast pacing and then this is something i will go with for now so I will hit create and now it's creating the captions as you can see. So we will take a closer look at it and what it did is it automatically made those captions. If you're playing the video, you can also see here that it automatically shows you uh, at what point in the video you are. So instead of making separate graphics, it made a complete new layer, a subtitle layer. And you can see that over here. But other than it is a completely new layer, the subtitles are just just like different boxes, uh, the same as you would make a new graphic. So if you're not happy with the timing, you can like a normal graph graphic, trim this and make it different than uh, the automatic placing. But at this point, if you're not happy with how many captions uh, there are, you can do it all over again by just uh, deleting this complete track. So delete track and then you go back to transcript, hit the CC button again and you can do it all over again with different settings. So now we're going through the captions and we will check them on accuracy i got it guys i got it i cracked the code i found out what was the one i always thought that things that would be imported instead of that will be important so if we want to change the caption we can just click here we double click and we can change this really easily not in will but in would That's it. So two mistakes in those 30 seconds. I think that's a good score. So next up is the visual of the captions. And we do that with the essential graphics. So we're not selecting one caption, but we do it all at the same time. So we select every caption and then we're going to style it inside of the essential graphics. Over here, you can align and transform it. So now it's like at the bottom, but you can also set it like in the middle of the screen and then you can change the position by these two numbers so if i want it at the bottom but a little bit higher then i just do this like minus 
a hundred from the bottom. So I want the fill on white. I don't want the stroke, but I do want a shadow. So I already know what I want to do, but this is the moment for you to style your graphics. And you remember that you were able to choose a style when creating new captions. You can do that by saving a style once. For that, you do only want to select one captions, then go to track style and create a style. So for example, fast, pacing youtube shoot that video and then we hit okay keep in mind that it's saving this style only in this project if you go to another project you have to do the styling again i don't know why that is because it does not make sense but okay but if you want to change the style of like one caption you can do that by just only selecting that one caption and then when you're rendering the video you have to go to captions to choose a setting for your captions so if you want to burn the captions into the video, you have to select that. Otherwise, it will not be visible in your render. So that's it for the normal subtitles. Now we're going to the animated subtitles. And I already recorded this part, but Adobe brought a new update to Premiere Pro where you can do it now really easily without a workaround. So let me show you. Because the thing is, we have these subtitle blocks. We want to put effects on those blocks and that's not possible on a subtitle block. So we have to convert the subtitle block into just graphic boxes. So before we had to copy this text by hand and then we had to paste it on a text layer over here. But now we can really easily convert these subtitle boxes. So to be safe and keep the old subtitles there, we make a new subtitle layer, right mouse button, add track. Then we add a new subtitle track. We grab all these boxes and we hold option to duplicate it to the new layer. Now we can select all these subtitle boxes. We go to graphics and titles. And now there is a, a nice button over here. Upgrade caption to graphic. If we hit that, bam, it made graphic boxes from the subtitle boxes. So that's super nice. We don't have to do it by hand anymore. And now this is just a graphic box so we can go to effect controls and we can do over here the scale and we can do the position and we can animate it however we want. And of course for animating the subtitles you can download or make all kind of presets and you can also still go in the central graphics and change color or fonts or font sizes and things like that. So that's it, the easiest way to do automated subtitles inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Follow me on the short form content platforms to see how I use these subtitles. And then I will see you the next time. Bye.